Orbox C is a space-themed puzzle arcade game developed by Wins84 and Game Balance and published by Conglomerate 5. In Orbox C, you take control of the red box, and the objective of every stage is to move the red box from the starting position into the goal by sliding. It starts off fairly straightforward with getting the red box into the goal, and then as you go on in the stages, they add new challenges in between before the goal opens up and then you're allowed to proceed to the next level. Some of these different gimmicks that are introduced are deflecting angles, which once you slide the starting block onto any angle, depending on where the angle is facing, the block will switch course and then go in that direction and follow along until it comes to a stop at any basic block. There's colored teleporters. For example, there will be two red dots at any point. Once you push the block into one, it'll spawn out the other. There's star collection where you have to navigate the stage, collect a certain amount of stars. Once all the stars are collected, the goal will activate and then you can move on to the next stage. There's also gates where once the block moves through an open gate, the gate will shut, creating a stopper block. So you can move back to the closed gate and use it as a stopgap to change direction and go wherever you need to go next. Just a few examples of the gimmicks that are introduced. You're always stuck to the edge, so there's no middle ground. There's no like stopping in the middle. Once you push a direction, you go all the way into that direction and you either get stopped by a block or you fly off the screen, which equals death and then you restart the level. There's a few different difficulty settings. There's quite a few. You start with easy and then I assume it goes to medium, normal, hard, and then so on. There's about eight choices. The game has a surprisingly nice soundtrack, like you could just kind of sit there and kind of relax and get lost in like the arcadey, mobile, mindless style as you just keep going on and on and you just complete level, move on to the next, complete level, move on to the next. It's not so mindless because you do kind of have to think because some stages you can easily get stuck. But if you are into these types of games and you're easily addicted to this type of gameplay, I can really see how someone could be really into this and just sink their time into going through like every single level. Even myself, who's not really into this type of game, I kept going and going and going. And like it was just because you just you finished and you push next and then you just keep going and going and you just listen to the soundtrack and it just it's it just creates a nice fe a nice loop of like, okay, well I beat that one, so I could do the next one. So that's all well and good. The game is fine enough if you're into like mobile puzzlers that just kind of burn time. But that's not the real reason that I'm talking about this game. So about five years ago, on one of my old Dark Souls highlight videos, I got a random comment on the video and it said, what's your email? I tried to use the one in context, but TI didn't work. I want to suggest to try our game or box C. And then I replied, oh, sorry about that. That email is just an inside joke. What's your game called? Oh wow, I did that wrong. Nice. I'd be happy to try it out. Then they told me the name of the game and that they shared the key. So funny part about that is a long time ago, a very long time ago, when I was setting up my first Xbox 360, I had my cousin on the line on, on the phone because I was kind of I was a little clueless. I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't really know what I was doing and I needed a lot of help. And I didn't really have an email at the time. So we were just kind of like, what do, I, what do I put here? I don't really know what to put. I don't remember why, but for some reason I just decided Bob likes cock at hotmail.com. And then at some point when I made my YouTube channel, I put that as the, when you click on my about me and it's a few email address, so I guess like the promotional email address or where you can, or the business email address or whatever, so where you can reach me if you need anything. So he went there and he tried this fake email address and it bounced because it wasn't real. It was, it was a horrible meme from like years and years ago that I completely forgot about. That's the story about how I got this game for free. I appreciate you watching, appreciate you checking out the video. It's been a long time since I've done something like this, but then a lot of stuff happened in between. My old full stream channel got taken down, even my music channel got taken down, which is great. That's a whole other story. Yeah, hopefully more to come. Have a good one.